Has Fortnite been running like garbage lately in the new Star Wars season? You're experiencing stutters, lag, low FPS. You might be missing one simple fix that most players skip. Plus, at the end, I'm going to share a secret technique that you guys can use to boost your performance. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. So the installation settings are found in the Epic Games Launcher. So we're going to open the Epic Games Launcher like this. Click on library here. Go ahead and locate Fortnite, which is right here for me, and click on the three dots in the bottom right. Now, go ahead and click on Options. Here, this will open the Fortnite installation option. So I am going to go in depth with each one of these installation options. All right, our first option is Fortnite Core and Battle Royale. So this is the main foundation part of Fortnite. This includes the main game engine, the Battle Royale mode, the core assets, and the menus like the UIs. This is a mandatory option. As you see in the parentheses right here, it says required, and it's actually grayed out the check mark. So you can't actually unclick this. Next Next, we have Fortnite Save the World. So this is a PVE mode of Fortnite. This is players versus environment. It's a co-op campaign mode where players fight AI enemies such as zombies or creatures of that sort. So as you can tell, it does take up some storage space. It takes about 11.14 gigabytes, which is a decent amount by itself. In terms of affecting Battle Royale mode, it really has no effect. And the reason for that is because you can't play the modes simultaneously. So my tip for Fortnite Save the World, if you guys don't play it, then go ahead and uncheck it. You save 11 gigabytes of storage space that way then we have high resolution textures so these next two installation options are actually going to be the most important for boosting fps so make sure you listen very closely with these two okay so what is high resolution textures that's a really good question so it enables ultra or cinematic quality textures so essentially it's higher detail better quality of your environment such as the skins the weapons buildings the grass so essentially it just makes the game look really good almost realistic but it's at a performance cost so what do i mean by that let's look at the obvious the storage it takes 20 0.04 gigabytes of your space or storage space which is a lot so having this setting enabled drastically puts more demand on your gpu and your ram and guess what that means lower fps which could cause stutters lag so my tip for this one is i would uncheck this for better performance and faster loading times and finally we probably have one of the most important installation options that can cause a ton of lag and stutter if not set up properly properly and that's free download stream assets in fortnite not all assets like in models are loaded into the memory all at once instead what the game does it loads that information when it's needed or when you're about to encounter it and as you guess this can cause lags and stutters so now if you enable pre-download stream assets the launcher downloads a larger chunk of these assets ahead of time therefore the game can access these files quicker and faster this stops stutters and lags from happening so if you want less lag in game little to no stutters then i would recommend enabling this option like i have here so to recap enable fortnite core and battle royale not that you can disable it fortnite save the world disable unless you play it disable high resolution textures and lastly enable the download stream assets simple as that and then when you're done click on apply here now at the very beginning i told you guys there was a secret there was a secret step that that you guys could do to help boost your performance so under fortnite click the three dots again right here in your library and click on manage now the first option is verify files now what this does is if you're experiencing crashes unexpectedly experiencing bugs or performance issues or maybe there's some corrupted files what this does is this checks the integrity of all your game files so if there is anything corrupted this will actually fix it so all you have to do is click on verify it'll re-download everything as you see right here it's re-downloading it it re-downloads and replaces bad files that might be causing lower fps or hitches or stutters etc and once you're done with that you just gotta load fortnite back up easy as that guys now if you guys made it this far in the video make sure to comment though hashtag team elite and i'll see you guys in the next one peace